Welcome to another Rudder Web Design Tutorial. We are going to look at how to connect to a database in this tutorial using PHP and MySQL. So the first thing we need to do is to connect to the server then we can create a database. You can either copy and paste these chunks of code or download the source files here on the web page. Now let's create a folder on the desktop. I am going to call this connect but this will be your root folder. Inside this we will create another folder called scripts where we will store the connection to the database. So let's connect to the server and create the database first. So load your code editor and start a new PHP file. We will start by removing all this text as we don't need it. And let's save this as create underscore database dot PHP. Remembering to save it in the scripts folder. So now let's start coding. Firstly I'm going to paste the first chunk of code on the tutorial page like so. Now each bit of information we are going to save as variable which makes for easy maintenance for later on. These variables are then dragged into this line of code, also stored in a variable which makes use of the MySQL connection function. This function is what executes the connection to the server. Remember to change the values of the variables to your own. The next line of code will call the variable connection an and if statement and if it fails to execute successfully it will kill the script and output this error message and what errors MySQL finds. Now we have a connection to the server completed we can move on to creating the database. Here we use a MySQL query to create the database which is called my underscore database but you can change this to whatever you like and it use the variable connection to connect to the database. Providing all goes well it will output this message. Otherwise it will echo this error message, along with MySQL's error messages. Now this line of code closes the connection to the server before the end of the script, for security purposes. But the connection will close automatically at the end of the script. That's it. Now let's save this and we will come back to this at the end. You can just click and hold Ctrl plus S. Now we will close that and create a new .php page for the connection to the database we just created. Removing all this text once again. This time we will save this as connection underscore to underscore database dot php ensuring we save it in the scripts folder. If you are following this on the website too we are now on step 2 and I will paste the first piece of code from that step so we will be using the same variables from the last file create underscore database dot php but with the addition to the database name which you specified earlier I also forgot to mention that the server name will be localhost for 99% of you but you can always contact you host provider if you are unable to connect and they will let you know your details with that said we can now connect to our database we just created. The at symbol is used in front of the functions for one reason. To suppress any error messages, allowing you to create your own. So the first line connects to the server using these values. Whilst the second selects and connects to the database you have specified. Now that's complete we will save this and I will show you how to include this into other pages without have to type all this out over and over again. So close that and now we will create a web page again using a .php file put this time we will save it in the root folder. I've named it web page. So let's leave these meta tags here and use the include once function to fetch the script we just wrote. I'm going to paste the code at the top allowing us to access the database anywhere else on the page. And I'm just going to quickly save this as that's all the code we are going to write in this tutorial. But just to show you locate the file correctly, in Dreamweaver a tab next to source code will appear where you can view and edit the included file. Now you can add your MySQL code or queries anywhere below the include once code. 
then all that's left to do is to execute the create underscore database dot php. You do this by uploading it to your server for example FTP and then type out a URL for it in a browser like so. And that's it a message will display, hopefully the success message. Then you can connect to the database and start creating tables. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Remember the source files are on the site.